Hi everybody, watch this review here with a look at the Mojo series Cycloc from the Marvel Legends line. Um, actually owned this figure for a while, been keeping it in package along with the Doctor Doom which I reviewed a little bit earlier. Just because I like showing the package when I'm reviewing the figures. Um, probably just a habit I picked up from looking at the review spots reviews. Of course the packaging of the Marvel Legends line is nowhere near as stellar as the Marvel Selects line. I mean, the Marvel Selects packages in some instances are pieces of art themselves, whereas these are just a clamshell with a f usually a fairly generic backboard with a little bit of character information, which is kind of cool. I like to collect the cards in the early 90s, which had all this character's information, although I do suspect a good amount of it was erroneous or so forth. Uh, let me open her up and I'll just pause it for. Alright, so let's get a look, shall we? Now... ...this a bit further, but... Yeah, definitely should have that a bit further. Here's the blister package. As you'll notice, they do not have the... ...stand that was included in some of the earlier Marvel Legends. Well, earlier is just being a few lines before this one, such as the Sentinel series, where you had a little thing that would attach in the back to help it stand. Um, not sure what this is. It's a stand of some kind. This is her Mojo piece. Looks like the back portion of Mojo, which would connect into the base, into the front, upper torso here. Important piece, but boring piece. Let me just quickly pull her out of this, and then... Alright, now this would be one of those occasions where the character does look significantly better in the box. Um, by the way, those of you unfamiliar with Cycloc, she is an X-Man. She's a mutant with telekinetic abilities, uh, originally a telepath, I believe. Our telekinetic abilities generally manifest in the form of psionic blades, like she'll make a fist, and then you'll see some psionic energy through it. I guess she just uses to mind screw people. Um, now, why do I call this figure ugly? Oh, by the way, the original Betsy Braddock, which I believe was her name, or Elizabeth Braddock, was a angloid woman, but um, she ends up mind swapping with an Asian assassin at some point as part of her telekinetic abilities. And then I'm not sure where the telekinesis came in, but it did. Uh, first of all, there's a paint error up here, bleed between this really cheap looking collar, which isn't a collar at all, and the skin tone there. And you can so clearly tell that that's not part of a co that it doesn't even remotely look like a costume. I mean, there's no upraised layer of plastic to make the cloth look what would be cloth or whatever, look separate from the actual skin. And the paint's all wobbly. I mean, look at that. That's it's just sloppy. Uh, highlights look okay. I guess it's black with purple highlights as opposed to a more solid purple. I'm okay with that. Face sculpt um, looks all right. Now, this waist is kind of crazy. I had it turned a little bit, but it's an amazingly thin waist. It's a nice touch. You don't see really, really crazy thin waists all the time, but, um, this is just completely ugly too. There's an error on the back of this figure. Looks like vomit. Let me look at that, the discoloration there. It's like, um, specks of yellow paint all over this. I can't remember where I bought this figure from, but got it her on eBay, but with a bunch of other figures by Although I guess I can't blame the seller for this one because there's probably no way you can tell in package that that has that, but as you'll notice, there's like a huge layer of separation between the buttocks and the, um, or the glutes and the, um, little joint here. I mean, for this is supposed to all be skin and flesh here, that would be really disgusting if a person could just had a portion of their flesh hanging out here, then it's not connected in any way to the leg. I mean, ugh, jeez. Um, otherwise, the paints just have fuzzy little bleed areas between what should and shouldn't be 
Actually, some of this might be sun damage, but the stuff, the back portion here can't be sun damage. Um, in terms of articulation, articulate wrist, um, forearms will swivel. See the wrist will bend back and forward. Forearm swivel, double jointed elbows, pin joints, um, bicep joint, kind of ugly looking. I hate when they do bicep joints on, although it's not an extreme ball at the top, but I mean it's just so visibly a joint. It's not part, since it's just flesh and no costume, it makes it look all the more ugly. Head moves, a uh, solid piece for hair and face, good touch. Um, Head doesn't move a tremendous amount just because the hair goes back a huge amount. Um, upper torso or ab joint only moves side to side. Can swivel 360 if you want it to, but it'll get in the way of the sash down there. Uh, waist will also swivel 360 if you want it to. Um, yeah, it's. Leg joint slash hip joint does everything it should. Double joint on knee. And then single ankle joint up here. And then another ankle joint down here, which would let you move it side to side. But it's a little stiff right now. I don't know why you'd want to move it side to side. And of course, the lower, I forgot what this part of the body is called, does twist. Um, all in all. Not a good looking figure, but I believe it's the only Cycloc figure they made, so you have to really balance like how much do you like these characters and how much do you want a whole team for your display as to, I don't know, how much you really care about the overall quality of the figure. But I mean, both open hands, which is an okay touch. I mean, it would have been nicer, but I know Marvel Legends didn't really do this at this point. If they had had um, a closed fist and then the little attachment for the little energy blade. Because whenever you see Cyclock, you see her with the energy blades, usually. Even like games and stuff like Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, I mean, otherwise, the open hands are a nice touch. She does come with a comic. Never read this issue, I'll probably read it later. But yeah, that's basically all I have to say. Till next time.